Hey guys, Kayla here from ivorymix.com and today we're gonna talk about how to schedule your pins on Pinterest for free. You can do this using a Google account and an account on If This Then That. Both programs, Google and If This Then That are free and it's an automation and I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now. So let's get started. Okay, to get you started in this free automation of your Pinterest pins, what you need is an if this then that account and you can go to ifttt.com, just like this right here, ifttt.com. Get yourself this account and also get yourself a Google account so that you can have a Google calendar, just like this one right here. So once you do that, then uh, you can pause here and do that and then come back for more of the next steps. So let's get started on the next steps. So if you're not familiar with If This Then That, basically what it is is it connects one platform or one device with another platform or another device. So basically it's like rules. It sets up rules for you to say, if this happens, then this happens. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna say, if an event happens on my calendar, then pin it to Pinterest. So what you have to do is create a Pinterest calendar. Now you can do this per board or per Pinterest account. But here we are on a Google Calendar. This is really where you should start. So once you have a Google Calendar, you should just come over here to this plus sign and hit new calendar. And let's say we're gonna do this per category or per Pinterest board on our Pinterest account. This is probably a good way to keep it nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to name this my Instagram tips, maybe in parentheses, just as a reminder of Pinterest schedule and go ahead and create the calendar right here. Now, once you have a calendar saved, you can come over and you can actually show all the calendars together all at once or just isolate that one Instagram tips calendar. So we're on the Instagram tips calendar and what we're going to do is we're going to schedule um, a pin on this and we're going to connect this calendar to, I'm going to go to my Pinterest right now, we're going to connect it to this board right here that I'm on, this Instagram ideas and content board. So this is all pins that I have pinned on Pinterest about Instagram. So what this little automation is gonna do is it's gonna pin pins to this board automatically, but only once I schedule them on my Google Calendar. So let's get started on if this then that. First, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna search for the Google Calendar uh, tools. So under search, type in Google Calendar and it pops up right here. Click on it and you'll notice under Google Calendar there are lots of um, pre-made applets. We're going to actually make our own. So the best way I know to do that is go over to my profile here on the right hand side and hit new applet. And this is where you start the recipe. So if this, which is if a event happens on my Google Calendar, so if Google Calendar, and there are a few different options here. And what you're gonna choose is if any event starts on my Google Calendar. So we're gonna pick which calendar? Well, the one I just created, Instagram tips. If any event starts on my Instagram tips calendar, then this next trigger is about to happen. Now you can set up if you want it to happen five minutes before the event, but because we want this to pin when we schedule it, go ahead and leave it at zero. So go ahead and click create trigger. Then that, what's the result you want? You want it to pin on your Pinterest. So I'm gonna say if this then that and type in Pinterest okay you have one option here and it's add pin to board so what you want to do is enter the board name of the pin 
board that you want to share pins to. So here we are on my Instagram tips board. Go ahead and copy the name of the board you want to share your calendar event to. And then the URL that you want to uh, have the photo come from, you want that to be saved. Here we are on the event under my Google calendar. You want that to be the location right here. So go ahead and when you're on the, uh, the applet that you're setting up, hit add ingredient and you want it to be the where. Okay. And then under description, erase what they have there as the time and the start and you add it as description. And then the source URL, this is where they are going to send your audience to that's going to be the where as well. Cause if you remember under the, uh, event that I created on my calendar, the location is right here, that URL. So add ingredient and have it be where go ahead and create the action and then hit finish. Now you probably are wondering about this event. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually show you how I created this event. So you can see this event was set up to happen every Tuesday at 1020 AM. So in order to create new pins that get shared through your automation on if this, then that you just create a new event. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new event. So I just double click there and I'm going to name it, whatever the name of my Pinterest pin is. So I'm going to say it's my Instagram ebook. I'm going to share that pin and I want it to repeat every single day. Um, and I want it to happen at 10 30 AM until, you know, whatever, 10 35, the length of time isn't as important as the start time. And then the location is the URL that you're going to be sharing on Pinterest. So here is the landing page of my Instagram ebook. So I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste that in the location. And then uh, you come down to the description and you add whatever the description is that you want to show up on Pinterest. And I've shared this pin a few times on Pinterest before, so I'm just going to grab the same description that I've been using and I'm going to add it in the description right there. Uh, so I'm going to hit save and you'll see it populate across all days at 10 30 AM. So now that, uh, that applet that I just created, if I go to my applets, this applet that I just created is going to trigger at 1030 because I have an event on my calendar to share this ebook on Pinterest at 1030. So I will show you once it pops up at 1030, what it looks like. Okay. So here we are on Instagram ideas and content blog or <laughs> Pinterest board. And I'm just going to scroll down here real quick. So you can see that it's now 10 30 AM on April 10th. And that means that this pin has just automatically pinned to this board because of my scheduled pin on my Google calendar. So the, the, um, the honest truth is, is that you could do this as many times as you want to as many boards as you want. And you can create as many calendars over here on Google as you want. And as many, um, uh, automations and applets on if this, then that as you want. And the opportunities here are really endless. You can even create a trigger on if this, then that, that as soon as this pin is added to this board, that if this, then that will pin it to another related board. And I'll just show you real quick how to do that. So if I search under Pinterest, there's lots of different um, automations already in place. So if you just scroll down to get more, you can see there are multiple here. And so um, if you just take a look through them, we'll find this uh, applet that I'm talking about or we could just create it ourselves. So I'm just going to go to new applet and I'm going to say if this, which is if Pinterest, um, if a new pin 
on any of my boards. So if I get a new pin on my Instagram ideas and content board, if I get a new pin, then what? Then pin to a different board, right? So pin to a different board. Well, which board do I want it to go to? Well, it could be anything also related to Instagram. So if we go to my boards and um, let's just pick my social media tips. So Instagram is a social media. So I'm just going to copy the name of that board and type it in there. And then uh, what what photo should they use? Well, let's add an ingredient. Um, let's choose the pin URL. So whatever the photo is that comes up when this URL is chosen. And then the description should be the actual description. So um, we'll just choose the description from the pin URL. And then the source URL shouldn't be the pin. It should actually be the source. There we go. So that's that uh, action go ahead and create the action and now when I pin something to my Instagram board go ahead and hit finish so now when I pin something to my Instagram board over here um, it will automatically save to my social media board. So let's just go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna save this pin right here. Just click on it and I'm gonna hit save to this pin that we're already on, or this board that we're already on. Save to that board. Okay, it's saved. Let's go double check that it's saved. Let me hit refresh. So there it is at the top of the board once it loads. There, there it is. So there's the new pin that I just created. Well, let's go back and see if that actual action happened. So let's click on social media. It's not there yet, but I bet you it will be in just a moment. So right now it's 10.38 a.m. You can see down here 10.38 a.m. I'll pause it and I will uh, come back when it actually shows up. So here we are. It's been one minute and it showed up. Now, there's another way that you can check whether your applets are working if you come over to if this then that. Let me just scroll up real quick. You can click on your activity. So you can see that uh, it shows when I created a new applet and then when an actual applet or an automation ran. So you can click on show details and it'll show you the actual details. So there you have it. Two ways that you can completely automate your scheduling and this is completely completely free it does not cost you anything except for a little bit of time to uh, place the pins that you want to share on your calendar